All right, seventh grade, lesson 35. This is on adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing decimal numbers. So pretty much just a review of decimal numbers, pretty much, okay? So let's do that. Um, let's start with adding and subtracting. So for example, if you saw 3.6 plus 0 0.36 plus 36, how would I line this up? You put 3.6 on top. Okay. Then you line up the decimals. Okay. 0 0.36. And then you put 36 before all the decimals. So 36 point yeah. and then zero, 0. And then I would just go in and fill everything else in with zeros if you want to. Does that make sense like that? Mm -hmm. And then you just add it up. Right there. Okay? So that's just a quick review of adding decimals. Alright, what happens if it goes over? For example, this. What do you mean? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You put the one on the other side. Right, right. very good. So then you bring your decimal down. Yeah. Very good. Okay, quick review. All right, now let's do some subtraction ones. 12.3, and they want us to subtract 4.567. Where would I line that? How would I line that up? You put four under the two, uh -huh. and point five six seven. Very good. What happens up here? Zero. Put zero. Okay. It's very important that you put these zeros here and you don't just pull down six and seven. Right? Mm -hmm. So you actually want to subtract this, okay? Okay, so then we would go seventy uh, or seven point seven three three. Okay, you got it? So that's how you would do that kind of problem, okay? So that's, you have to remember to put your zeros right there, okay? Let's try this one. What would you do? 5 minus 4.32. How would I set that one up? Uh, you do 5.00. Very good. Then minus 4.32. Okay, now we're not going to actually do the math, but that's how you would set it up. Good job. All right, a few more multiplying decimal numbers. For example, 0 0.3 times 0 0.7. How do I set this up? Uh, these would actually be lined up. Okay, these actually would be, but they don't have, actually have to be. Yeah. Right? So 7 times 3 is 21. Mm -hmm. All right, what do I do to get my decimal answer down here? You count, so that'd be 2. Okay, so 1, 2, and then what do I do? You put it, you count Very good. So since there's one, two spots after the decimal, we go one, two, and put our decimal there. So you would not just bring your decimal down. Very good. All right, what about this one? 0 0.23 times 0 0.4. Then you put the four under the three. Okay. And five. Zero point. Okay, so then four times three is 12. From zero to eight, nine. Okay. And then you count, so that'd be three places. One, two, three, very good. And then we'll go one, two, three. And what do I put here? Put a zero. Very good. Okay, excellent. You're doing good. You've got a good memory on what you've been doing. All right. Um, dividing decimals. Okay, for example, 3.425. And if I divided that by 5, okay, what do I do with this decimal in the very beginning? You move it up. Slide it up. Okay, and then you just see the problem like normal, as if this isn't there. Okay, and so you go 5 goes into 34 six times. Bring down the 2. 5 goes into 42 eight times. Bring down the 5. 5 goes into 25 five times. Answer, 0.685. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, let's do one like this and see what you would do. 0 0.0144 divided by 8. Okay, where would I put my decimal? Oh, in, the, you move it up. in the quotient. Very good, move it up. All right, now, if I start with this, okay, where would I begin? Going 8 into what? 1. Okay, 8 into 1. Okay, yeah, let's do, you do 14. Okay, so 14, 8 into 14 goes how many times? Uh, I think only 1. 
ones. Okay, now I was paying attention to this. Eight times one. Should I put a one here? No, you put no. it. No. You put it on top of, we're doing 14 right here. So you always do the number to the far right that you're working with. So the one goes here. And then you fill the rest with zero. Okay, then this one has a zero above it. This one has a zero above it. And you can even put a zero above that one. Okay? If it makes more sense for you just to go eight times zero is zero, bring down the one, eight times zero is zero, bring down the four, and do it like that, you can. Okay? So then eight and the 14 goes one time, um, and then six, bring down the four, and eight times eight is 64. So final answer is that. All right, last problem. All right? One point two divided by five. What should I do? Um, you just move it up and I move the decimal up. Okay, then what do I do? Then you put it in two times. Okay, five times two is ten. I get two, but this is a decimal answer, so I can't just go two and two fifths. Yeah, you add a zero. Okay, very good. You remember. Good. You add a zero. Okay, yeah, and that brings four, that down. Becomes four, and that becomes twenty, and that's the final answer. Point two four. Got it? That's lesson 35.